great to see you here again another video offered to you by the Custer Academy my name is Luke de Custer I'm founder of the Custer Academy if you're here for the fi first time or you didn't subscribe yet click the subscribe button click the bell button and every time we have a new video you will get the message from YouTube what I will explain to you in this video is the extended Euclidean algorithm and the extended Euclidean algorithm is based on writing the GCD as a combination of the parameters, a linear combination of the two numbers. So when we have GCD of A of B, we will write it as S times A plus T times B. So basically what we want to do is find the terms S and T and we call those the Bezout coefficients. How are we going to do this? Basically we have to follow two steps. The first step is to find the greatest common divisor using the improved Euclid algorithm. And then we're going to do the backward pass. We're going to write the GCD as a function of the other parameters. So basically the formulas that we found before, we're going to use them and at the end we find an expression of this format. So the GCD is S times A plus T times B. Now let's have a look at this example here. So we start with GCD is 25 n of 25 and 185 and we find them. We call it first the forward pass. The forward pass is just the application of the Euclid algorithm. And this case is very simple, it's only a few steps. So we write 185 is times 25 we find this 7 times 25 and we find a remainder which is, which is equal to 10. Now we do the same, we go 25 is 2 times 10 plus a remainder of 5 and then we have 10 is 2 times 5 plus 0. So basically the GCD is equal to 5. What we're going to write now is to write the expression as a function of the greatest common denominator. So basically what we're going to do here is say that 5 is equal to 25 minus 2 times 10. And now what we're going to do, we still want to get this 10 out of here. We want to have there 185. And this expression we can also write as 10 is equal to 185 minus 7 times 25. And we replace that in this equation. So what we can write here now is 5 is 25 minus 2 times, and we put the expression of 10 in there, it's 185 minus 7 times 25. And we can write this as 25 minus 2 times 185 plus 14 times 25. And finally, the expression that we find at the end is in fact 5 is equal to 14 times 25 plus 25 is 15 times 25 minus 2 times 185. And this is the coefficient s and this is the coefficient t from the formula. So this is a and this is b. So basically we find an expression, a linear combination of the greatest common denominator as a linear combination of a and b and the coefficients s and t we call the Bezout coefficients. We're going to use that later when we're trying to resolve the linear congruences and this will come back in many applications. You can also write an algorithm for this 
to find not only the GCD, but also to find the Bezout coefficients. Let us now continue with a little bit more complicated example. We want to find the Bezout coefficients for the greatest common denominator uh, divisor of 16 and 278. So we first do the forward pass, so we find 278 is 17 times times 16 plus remainder is 6. Then we find the next step 16 is 2 times 6 plus 5 and we find the last one 6 is in fact the number sorry Let's look at a little bit more complicated example and we start with the forward pass. We want to find the Bezout coefficients for the greatest common divisor of 16 and 278. So we start with the forward pass, so 278 is 17 times 16 plus 6. Now we find 16 is 2 times 6 plus 5. 6 is equal to 1 times 4 plus 2. Uh, sorry, this has to be 4, uh, 12. We have 4 here. So 6 is 1 times 4 plus 2. And now we see 4 is 2 times 2 plus 0. So we find that the greatest common divisor is 2. Now we have to write this as a linear combination of 16 and 278. We call this now the backward pass. So we start again, 2 is equal to 6 minus 1 times 4. One times four. Now 4 we find in this expression and we can from this expression find that 4 is 16 minus 2 times 6. And we bring this in the equation, so we find 2 is 6 minus 1 times 4, 1 times 16 minus 2 times 6, which gives us at the result here, minus 1 minus 2, so this is 2 times 6. We have 6, so we have 3 times 6 minus 16. The next step we have to do is to get this expression in there. So we have 6 is equal to 278 minus 17 times 16. So we bring this again in the equation. We replace 6 by this expression. So we have 3 times 2 7, 8, minus 17 times 16, and we have here the 3 times 6 minus 16. So we can rewrite this as 3 times 17 minus 17 is minus the 30, 54 minus 1 is minus 55 times 16 plus 3 times 278. So basically we can say that the GCD, and I will do it in red, that the GCD of 16 and 278 is equal to minus 55 times 16 plus 3 times 278, and this is S, and this is T. So this is a little bit more complex. Oh, I made the calculation error. 3 times is 51, so this is 52. And we have to replace it here also by 52. So when you do it with a calculator, it's easier 
when you do it on a piece of paper. So you can try to do this exercise on your own. But let's have a look at a special combination and I will be with that in a few seconds. Let's have a look at, uh, again, a little bit more complicated exercise. We're going to find the Bezout coefficients for the greatest common divisor of 132 and 1105. And let's start by doing this. So we first have the forward pass. So 1105 is in fact 8 times 132 plus a remainder of 49. Now we go, next step, 132 times 49 plus a remainder. This is 2 times 49 plus a remainder of 34. We continue, 49 is 1 times 34 plus 15. And 34 is 2 times 15 plus 4. 15 is 3 times 4 plus 3. And the last one we have 4 is 1 times 3 plus 1. And then 3 is 3 times 1 plus 0. So we find the greatest common divisor here. Now we have to transform this and we have to do the backward pass. So we write this as an expression of the greatest common divisor. 1 is 4 minus 3. And now we go a step up. Here we can say 3. 3 is 15 minus 3 times 4. So when we put that in here, we find 4 minus the expression of 3, which is 15 minus 3 times 4, which gives us 4 once here and minus minus 3, we find 4 times 4 minus 15. So we continue a step higher. We put now 4 in there. So I find 1 in this expression is 4 times 34 minus 2 times 15 minus 15, which gives us 4 times 34 minus, we have 4 minus 2, so that's 8, minus 1 is minus 9 times 15. The next step here we find 15, so we replace 15, so that's the next one we're going to replace. So 1 is 4 times 34 minus 9 times 15, and that is 9 times 49 minus 34. That's not so difficult. So we have here 4 and 9 minus 9. So we find here 13 times 34 minus 9 times 49. And I verify if I find this here, 30 times 49 minus 9 times 49. So we continue with this. So we have here the next one, 1 equals, and I replace now 34. So I have 13 times 132 minus 2 times 49 minus 9 times 49. So we have here 13 times 132 and I have 26 minus 26 plus 9 minus 9 is minus 35 times 49 and in the last part I replace 49 so I say this is equal to 
13 times 132 minus 35 times 49 and 49 is 1005 minus 8 times 132 which gives us here 13 times 132 30 times 35 times 8 30 times 8 is 350 minus 70 is 280 huh? 35 times 10 minus 20% so 20% is 70 is 280 so I have plus 280 plus 13 is 293 times 132 minus 35 times 1105. So basically what I can write at the bottom is in fact, and I will do it in red, the GCD of 132 and 1105 is equal to 293 times 132 minus 35 times 1105. This is S and this is T. So basically here we have a special case because 132 and 1105, although they are not prime numbers, are relatively prime. And now we find that the GCD 1 is equal to 293 times 132 minus 35 times 1105. So that's basically how we are going to use this later when we are dealing with linear congruences. And the Bezu terms are very important, for example, to find the modular inverse and things like that. So that was it about the extended Euclidean theorem, how we find the Bezu coefficients, and how we write the greatest common divisor as a linear combination of the two numbers that I'm calculating the GCD of. Now, that was it for this video. Don't forget to have a look at the text below the video. You find very interesting links to our courses. You can find those courses on the website thecusteracademy.com. There are very interesting coupons that will give you a very nice discount when you would subscribe and buy our courses. And of course, we are on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it yet. Click on the bell button and every time we have a new video, YouTube will send you a message. Thank you very much and bye-bye.